Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die. That would be a screamer zombie. And I'm going to shoot her in the face. Maybe. Possibly. Potentially. Fetal position. Good for you. You're dead. She didn't call anyone, I don't believe. I'm fairly certain I got to her before she could get to anyone. Or get to her cell phone and call anyone in. Anyway, something like that. On the last episode, we were doing a little upgrading around the house, as well as making a bunch of bolts. Look at that. 20 exploding bolts. Okay, that's not really a bunch. But 20 of them, that's not too shabby, considering how much gunpowder those things take. We can turn you off. I forgot to do that one. This one has run out of fuel. So, and it's also run out of anything to do. So, let's go ahead and grab some more metal for it. I have a bunch stored up over here. Ah, you know what? Here, let's um, let's not grab the metal for right now. Let's go with brass because I would like to make some additional ammunition today. At the very least. Okay, hold on. I'm not done yet. Did I not? Oh, I didn't pick the other one up. Well, whatever. Uh, here, I need to put some frames in there. And go ahead and turn that on. Hey, I'm busy. I said turn on, please. No? Why won't you turn on? Ah, you have to be in that spot. I didn't know that. Well, now I know, and knowing is half the battle. And that is a dead screamer zombie. Good. So I'm going to be getting those throughout the day, I suspect. Just like I suspected I'd be getting a bunch of them on yesterday's episode, but I didn't really get as many as I thought I would. Not that I was necessarily disappointed with that, but, um, eh, you know. Actually, is there anything I can do with rotting flesh? I don't think there is. Nope, I can eat it. That's not going to help me. Let's go ahead and put you away. We don't need you. And then my gun safe here. I wanted to grab... Did I not grab... Oh, there it is. It's on number seven. Why didn't someone tell me it was on number seven? I just didn't see it. Here we go. We'll melt you down. That's going to get us some more brass. Let's get some casings going on. We're going to do some bullet casings. Let's do... Um... Oh, man. I don't even know. Uh, 200, I guess. 200 will be sufficient. I really don't know how many to make right now. Is there anything else in here? I should probably grab maybe those. I can put that in along with the brass. That's not going to take all that long to, to pump all that stuff out, so that's not too big a deal. Now, I do have a sprained leg from yesterday's episode that I keep forgetting to take care of, so let's go ahead and create a splint. We'll craft that guy right up, and then I can use that. I'm just going to hang for a second so I can use it. It might have been long enough at this point that there was no need to use it, but I'm just going to go ahead and assume that the bug that used to exist with splint timing has been fixed and that that made sense and didn't reset timers. I don't know. And maybe it's not a bug. Maybe it's intentional. Either way. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, sorry. Wrong one. Wrong box. I need more gunpowder. And I don't really have enough potassium nitrate to do that. That's kind of a shame. Okay, well... Let's go ahead and make what we can. All that gunpowder that I made in yesterday's episode for the bolts. Yeah, that was supposed to last me a long time, actually. Spoiler, it didn't. And then somewhere in here, I should have some cloth. So we're going to go ahead and grab some more cloth. I'm also going to queue up some duct tape. Made a little duct tape yesterday. We're going to make some more today, so I'd like to replace things. I do have some gunpowder in here, so we're going to be able to make some ammunition already. I do have some bullet casings. I don't have any bullet tips. Let's go queue some of those guys up, and then maybe some buckshot as well. I don't know. I think we're probably okay. Yeah, we're pretty much okay on the shotgun front. That's fine. I would like to have some more 9mm am ammunition. I was going to say ammo, and then I decided to say ammunition. They came out as ammo munition because I apparently don't know how to speak. Okay, so let's go ahead and queue up some, no, tips. I'm going to do some bullet tips. We'll do um, 200 of these guys as well. Seems like a good idea. I'm going to need more clay in there before long. Man, I'm just, I'm looking at all the junk I'm carrying. I'm carrying so much stuff right now. I really need to put some of this stuff away. Oh, yeah. I really need to put some of this stuff away. And I need to eat food, too. I'm looking a little peckish right now. 11%. Yeah, a wee bit peckish. Oh, there's the stomach grumbling at 10%. I know. You're a hungry buddy. Let's go shove some food down your throat. We'll take care of that right quick. And then we can get rid of some of this unnecessary stuff that we're carrying as well. So let's see. I can go ahead and put... Um, hmm. 
I guess I don't really need to be carrying all of those. I don't want to carry that many around. And then, oh, I still have some bottled murky water. How about that? I totally forgot that I picked some of that stuff up. Ah, go me. Thinking ahead. Thinking ahead. Um, did I? Oh, don't put it in the output. Put it in the input. That was silly. Uh, bottled water. Can I, can I cook you? Why can't I cook you? Because I don't have a pot on this one. That's why I can't cook you. Do I have an extra pot lying around in here? I probably don't. In which case, that means I need to run back downstairs. Crud. I don't really want to make a pot. How much does a pot cost? I just, I don't feel like running. Ah, crud. Screw that. No way. That's way too expensive. I'm not going to do that. Here, let's put some of this junk away that I don't need. Leather duster, since I already have another one in here. We'll put you in there. And then... Guess we should go ahead and put that honey in there. We don't need all of that either. We'll just go ahead and make that a stack. Let's grab a bunch of potatoes. Um, there's a ladder in the way. I see that now. And then building materials, you can go in there and we'll eat a baked potato. And put some animal hides in there. We don't need to carry all that stuff around. And then last time we're going to dump you into that one. And then I do have some gunpowder that we can work with now. And put that coal back in there. We don't need to carry that additional coal around. And I think we're pretty much good on stuff. Now, I would like to... I don't have any gravel, do I? Oh, look at that. I do have some gravel. Go me! And uh, I should probably take that stone. Let's go ahead and make some more gravel here. We'll do that. We can make some gravel. How much am I going to get? 54. Perfect. That way we can make some additional concrete mix. And we can just run back this way. Man, there is so much bouncing around. I have a plan for today's episode, too. Aside from this insane running around stuff, I do have some things I would like to do with you, so we will be taking care of that in just a second, I promise. I just want to make sure I have enough fuel in here so these guys will keep cooking and I don't have to keep checking on them. Look at that, level 51. Bing, bang, boom, done. Let's go ahead and cook up some bottled water, maximum bottled water. You're going to be just fine for a while. You know what? Just because I can, let's go ahead and eat some grilled meat. And then I'm going to follow that up with a baked potato. Crud, that, that grilled meat didn't take. Did you see that? I ate it and it didn't do anything. Yeah, there's a bug sometimes where food just doesn't go into you. And I forget that sometimes and don't put it in my inventory before I eat. Or maybe it still happens when I do that. I don't know. I, I didn't pay that close attention to what I did there. I assume that's what I did. Maybe I didn't. Man, I'm sorry. This takes a long time to eat. Let's go ahead and make some concrete mix. Um, Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and craft that up. I was just looking at my frame situation because we're going to go use some more frames. And I think we're going to have enough, but not by a whole lot. So we'll go ahead and queue up some more wood frames. We're going to need some more of them. It's kind of funny, most of these have been collected from various tool stores and that sort of stuff along the way. We'll go ahead and queue up another couple hundred of them. And just so that I don't put you through the torture of collecting more wood, I'll go grab some from my stack in here. I have several stacks. You know what we probably should do is have a light over there by the ladder. Sorry, I should actually clarify what over there means. The ladder that's over here. We should probably have a light. Oh, I was about to fall down. I shouldn't do that because I have a sprained leg. Let's uh, let's do this the responsible way. Actually, you know what? We need to go up. Never mind. Let's go up this way. I'm thinking maybe I should go ahead and make another spotlight just so we have some lights over here, maybe some torches, that sort of thing. Okay, here is my little escape hatch. We kind of put this together in the last episode where it has a bit of a safety net in it. Yeah, I want a bigger safety net because clearly I need one based upon the lovely little icon that is uh, to the bottom left. That icon says I need a bigger safety net. So we're going to do something like this. Okay. And then we can go ahead and upgrade these guys. Now, the reason I'm putting an extra layer right here, and oh, uh, you know what? Maybe we should put something up here. I don't know. I'm going to say I'm not that bad that I can actually follow a straight line. But um, I don't know. Maybe I should put something over there, too. But the idea here is that I can't 
Look at that. That that right there proves it. Hi, cat. How's it going? You you need to lie down. Thank you. There you go. Boom. All I have to do is run into here. Even if I'm running, that was a run right there. And I can't screw this up too badly. That right there is super awesome. I approve. <laughs> and then, just because I can, let's go ahead and add a few more here. I don't need a ton, but you see now why I made some additional frames. So we'll go ahead and put those down there. And um, just because I am often tempted to jump off at heights that are considered dangerous to my well-being, let's not allow myself to do that. I don't know if this is necessarily a good idea doing this. I can see some potential problems where maybe uh, spider zombies or something get stuck in there. Oh uh, yeah, that looks really funky, but it's totally, totally functional. I gotta admit, I rather like that. That's pretty cool. I went three high because I can still jump in without any problems. Whether I can walk out is another story. I don't know, maybe I should enclose it. Do you think I should enclose it? Because we could do that. That's not a... It's not really a big deal to do that. Um, I guess I should probably go that way first if I actually want to fill in those corners. Hmm. And I guess I actually gotta, you know, upgrade these before I do that. Oh, you are way too far out there. Hey, stop that. Ah, bye-bye. Bye-bye. That was a waste of frames. Um, I need a light. So let's turn you on. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and enclose it. Why not? Why not? Okay, and then we can go ahead and switch to number three. And we'll just go ahead and enclose this bad boy. Look at that. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and do one right there, just because I feel a little safer if I do that. And then I'm going to put a little safety net for me right there. And that's going to have to be enough because I don't have any more wood frames on me. Hmm, I'm not going to be able to get to that one, am I? Okay, and then you know, let's go ahead and put that last frame down again. Number three, we'll put you right there. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. I, I actually rather enjoy this. Does it look the best? Yeah, not really. Is it totally functional? 100%. Look at that, man. That is so awesome. When I pop up, there's no possibility I'm going to fall off to the side. I have this little safety net, sort of, in case I go this way. But it's not a whole lot. But, uh, you know, whatever. It's cool. It's good. It works. Let's come back inside here because we need to run through. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, an obstacle course to get around over here these days. I hear someone. That would be a screamer zombie, I believe. There you are. Hey. Okay. You are no longer going to cat beat on my building. Oh, wow. She did a number on this place. Jerk. Can I repair these guys? I don't know that I have what I need. Man. That was a lot of concrete mix to fix that. I'm a little upset about that, actually. I don't have a lot of concrete mix. That's that's kind of a jerk move right there, zombie. That was really kind of a jerk move. Let's go ahead and put the duct tape away. We don't need to carry that around right now. I do have a little bit of gravel remaining, but not a whole lot, obviously. Do I have any cement in there? Nope, I have a bunch of clay, so I do need to put some more rocks in there. I don't have any clay in here, so I'm not going to create much in there, but I can create a pretty good amount of cement. That's not bad. We'll just go ahead and queue up 14 for right now, because that's all I have materials for. I do have some stuff on me. We're going to make some 9mm rounds. We're not going to make 200 of them. I think that would be a little excessive right now. I would feel better about having, let's say, another 50. I'd feel better about that. That'll give me 100 plus what I have in here, so that'll give us 100 plus 15 in that magazine, so that is up to... Oh, well, look at that. That... Hmm. I guess I didn't realize the ammunition went with gunsmithing. I guess that makes sense. I know, for some reason I had weapon crafting in mind. I don't know. And jump across, 
And let's just take a look in here. We can drop the rest of the stuff off in here because we don't need all of it. And then 150, come on. You can go in there. And then bullet tips, where are you? You can go in there. Good. So I think the next one to make will be some 10 millimeter. So let's take a look at you. I think 10 millimeter requires twice the gunpowder. Yeah, it sure does. We're not going to get that many rounds, but we haven't really used the 10 millimeter to this point. The, I wanted to say minigun, submachine gun. And actually, let's just take a quick look. How is my submachine gun doing? 316, it's not terribly good. And that one, uh, I guess we can go ahead and switch that out right now. Why don't we do that? We can work on that and make our SMG a little better. Keep wanting to say minigun. It's not a minigun, it's an SMG. We'll go ahead and assemble you. We're going to swap out these SMG parts. Oh, that's going to help out a lot. And then this SMG receiver, that will help out quite a bit as well. I don't think I have any extra flashlights on me, do I? That's kind of a shame. I'd really like to get another one on this guy. No. Sorry, wrong box. That one. No. Bummer. Bummer, man. That's a bummer. And I'd really, one of these days, like to go ahead and put that rocket launcher together. That's kind of frustrating that I haven't been able to do that. So we'll just leave our submachine gun in there and we'll leave those items there. That's going to be the next course of business is to... I guess we can scrap that guy. No need to keep you around. And uh, I guess realistically we can scrap those too, whatever. We don't need those additional parts around. They're unnecessary. Next thing I'm going to do is make some SMG ammunition. That'll give us over 300 because we're at 288 right now. That's enough for mm, quite a few sustained bursts. I might reserve a little bit of gunpowder to make some magnum ammo because I really do enjoy the magnum. It does a ton of damage, but look at that. Three gunpowder per. I probably need to go mining for some potassium nitrate. So unfortunately, I don't have the time to do that right now. And this episode is also at its conclusion. Yeah, another weird one where I was just running around doing some building stuff. But um, now yeah, you're fine. Stop, stop crying. Just the same. I kind of like it. I think this is uh, a really cool idea here, and I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. Oh, you are the wood that fell from those frames, aren't you? I guess I can recover my wood. There we go. I got eight. I still lost 12 out of that. Whatever. So I think that's a pretty useful thing right there. Whether we'll actually need it, I don't know, but uh, it is just kind of a cool way to get back up into the base, and I rather enjoy all sorts of escape hatches and that sort of thing. You might have seen me make them before, and if not, well, there you go. I think the last one involved a mini bike because um, why not, right? So anyway, as I said, we're going to call this one an episode. I will catch you on the next one as we get closer to day 35. We are at day 34. We'll probably do a little more running around just because we're looking pretty good here. We can put some more spikes down, maybe some uh, barbed wire or some other stuff. I don't know, but I don't really want to go too crazy with all this stuff because why? It's working. So I'll catch you on the next one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.